This is my big versatile. Currently waiting for a hydraulic pump there where all those rags are hanging out. 9.55, power shift. Good gear. There's my air cart. Made that too. Got a simplicity fan on it. Blow wind up anything. Simple little rotor drives that fit in that hole there. Take them out for easy cleaning. Both of them the same. Put seed and super through any box you like. At any rate. Joins on here. Not too bad. That's just in case you break down. Dual wheel casters there. And the slave cylinder on the top. And the lifting cylinder on the bottom there. Interesting little thing there with the hydraulic hose folds around. Stops it from bending up when you fold. Works good. John Deere 700 series tines. With little tiny narrow points on them. Yeah, pretty standard sort of a caster there. 41 feet wide and 40 tine, 41 tines. That's the back lifting wheel. It's not casters, it's just rigid. You've got car... It's got uh, dual wheels here do the same thing. Hold it up when there's a little bit of uh, weight on it when you hold it up. Like that. Pretty simple. There's no closers, harrows or press wheels. Never sort of thought I had the use for them. Drag them behind, gather and dust and shit. So I never bothered with that. This more pretty well much of the same. That's what it's like. Not too bad. I made the distributors' heads. There's eight of them. Secondary ones. And there's one primary one. And that's it there. Pretty simple. Nothing hard about that. Up here to the drive. That sprocket on the back has an air conditioner clutch on the inside of it which turns the whole machine on and off. Both drives with a one chain, that chain going upright there, drives an agitator in the box if you are sowing oats, which tend to want to bridge all the time. And the other little cog right there in the middle is to drive a canola box, which isn't on it at the moment. It's a Rexroth fan and a Simplicity, sorry, a Rexroth motor driving a Simplicity fan. That's where all the action has taken place with the hydraulics. waiting on a new hydraulic pump to come from Melbourne. You got your obligatory oil leaks. Took the jewels off because I figured I didn't need them any wearing out tyres. NTE 855 Cummins. Got a million hours on it. Motor rebuild in, inside the frame. Runs perfect. Lovely. Got the exhaust pipe up the side rather than out over the bonnet where you don't want it. A little bit noisy, but there always are. And there's nothing dangerous about this old girl.